In this video, we're going to be setting up a couple of layouts for our application. We're going to be setting up what you see right now. When you click on the home page, you get the full length view. So we set up a layout for that. And the row examples where you get a sidebar on the left side. And we set up an, a layout for that in this video as well. We begin the stages of setting up our header and our footer. And we even create a couple containers in this video for that as well. We begin using the Angular Flex layout to stack the sidebar and the content section next to each other. We do that towards the end of the video. So in the checklist, the five steps we'll need to complete is first, we'll need to create and configure our modules. We'll only be creating three modules. And then we'll create about eight components and configure them with our modules. Step three, set up our routing. That's the links that you see in the browser. And then we'll define our outer containers and we create a bunch of yellow borders for that. And you've seen that in the browser as well. And then towards the end, we'll set up our sidebar layout using Angular Flex layout. Let's get started. Let's start off by creating our layout module. So NGG, and we're generating a module. And I'm gonna put this in a new folder called layouts and I'll call it layout full. And this is gonna be for our full width layouts. And then we'll create another one for our sidebars and I'll call it side for short. And the last one we want to create is for our shared module. I'll just remove all this and it's going to be called shared. Now that we generated all our modules, let's bootstrap everything together. I'll close this down and open up all of our modules. So you want to open up the layout full module, layout side module, shared module, and also the app module as well. And we'll start inside the app module. And I'll pull this off to the side and add the split screen here. So what you want to bring into the app module is your all your layouts. So the layout side and the layout full. I'll click on this, copy this, bring that into the imports of your app module. And also the other one, the layout full. I'll add that in the imports. So now that we set up our app module, now we want to add our shared module into the layout modules. So I'll close this down. So copy the shared module and open up both of your layout modules and add it within the imports. So if you mix this up at all, let's say you add the shared module into the app module or something like that. I do that all the time. I mix modules up by accident. You'll get a bunch of headaches. You'll run into a bunch of errors. So let's go over this one more time. The app module, you're going to pull in your layout modules. And then your layout modules, you're going to pull in the shared modules into these two. So now that we set up our modules, we're going to have to come back to these modules pretty soon after we create our components. We're going to need to change them around a little bit more. But let's generate all of our components next. We'll need a total of eight components to get us started. We'll create two components for our layout. So we'll have a layout full component, a layout side component, and then our pages will create three components for that. Home, row example, and the column example. These two pages are gonna go where our sidebar layout for the sidebar layout right here. And then the home is gonna be full layout. And then we'll create another three components for the footer, header, and sidebar. So we'll need a total of eight components to get us started. Let's generate all eight of them. Back in the command line, let's start off with our layout components. So NGG, and it's going to be a component this time, and it's inside of the layouts folder, and layout full. And this should create us a new component inside of our layout full folder. There it is. Good. Now we need one for the side. Just hit up. Okay, there's our side component. And now we need our pages and we'll generate a new folder for our pages. So hit up again. And this is going to be pages and home. Next will be row example. And then I'll clear this out. And the next one's going to be our column example and hit up again. And I'll just change this to COL for short. Okay. So we created all of our pages. That's good. Now we're ready to 
create our shared components. Hit up again, and this is gonna be inside the shared folder this time. And I'm gonna put it in another folder called component or components. And I'll start off with the footer. And header. And last but not least, the sidebar. Now that we created all our components, let's make sure our components are being pulled into the correct modules. I'll close this down and we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. So the app module and here you don't want like any of the home components or anything like that or these either. You don't want none of them in here. Let's remove those. And let's also remove these. We don't need these in here. We'll be pulling them within our layout modules in a second. Save this file. Now jump into the shared module and you want to make sure that these three are being pulled in to your declarations inside of your shared module. And then there's one more step you want to do is you want to export these. So whoever's using this shared module could get access to these three components. So add in the exports array. And then copy the components and paste it within your exports. Now whoever's using this shared module will get access to these components. Now that we set up our shared module, now we need to set up these two modules inside the layout side and the, the layout full. Inside the layout side, we'll start in here. And here you want to make sure that your layout side component is being pulled in. And also you want to pull in any components that are going to get the sidebar view. So in this case, we're going to be setting up the column with a sidebar and also the row example with a sidebar. Let's pull those two components in to our declarations. So column example component, you want that one and also the row example and this one as well. So you want to make sure you're pulling all of these into your layout side module. Save this. And last but not least, we want to set up our layout full module. Open this up. And again, you want to make sure that the layout full component is being pulled in. And in this case, we're only going to be pulling in the home component for now. And that's all we need to do in there. Make sure you save that. Now that we set up all our components, we configured them. Now we're ready to set up our routing. Step three, setting up routing. You'll find this link down in the description. I'll be copying and pasting a lot of snippets in this section. It'll save a lot of time. If you would like to copy and paste as well, you'll find this down in the description. If you click on that, you could just copy and paste as well. Let's start inside the app routing module file and inside of the routes array, we'll paste in a snippet. And for now, we'll only have three routes, one for the home page and the other two will be for the example pages. And whenever you want a layout with a sidebar, you add it within this array. And then whenever you want a layout with no sidebar with a full width, you add it within this children array. Let's pull in all the components. And this is how you want the routing module file to look like. And we can save this, shut this down. Now nothing's gonna work unless we set up the router outlet. Let's do that next. Inside the app component HTML, I'll replace this with the router outlet. And then we wanna also add this within a couple other files as well, so I'll copy this save this and then jump into the layouts open up the html here and here and we'll be getting an error when i paste this in here we need to pull in the router module from angler save this file layout side add in here now we need to open up the modules so the the layout full and the layout side open this up and add in the router module within the imports save this so you want to make sure you're importing it from angular router close this down and then add it in here as well and that's pretty much it for the setup work now we want to add it within our pages the link so we could easily navigate between all the pages let's open up all the pages so the home page and also this page as well let's start with the home page so here I'll just paste another snippet and these are the three routes we have so far the home route and then our example pages will be these routes right here. 
and I'll go ahead and paste it in the other two pages as well. So paste, save this file, and then this one as well. And now we just set up our routing. Now you want to make sure you restart the application because we made a lot of changes to the modules. I'll clear everything out and run ng serve. So here in the home page, it's partially working. If we click on the examples, they, they don't work between each other like this, but if we click on the home page, that works. And I already checked it out and I know exactly what it is. If we go back to the project, just make sure you add this at the beginning like this. And you only want to do that on the column example page and also the row example page. And I'll make sure I add that within the snippets so people are not making the same mistake and add it here as well. Now everything should work. Let's jump back into the browser and it should automatically refresh if we click on this and then jump between each other without a problem. That's good. And click on the home page. Okay, so everything is working so far. And now we're ready to move on to step four. And now what we'll set up is our header and our footer within our layouts. And we'll start setting up our outer rows and columns. Back inside of our HTML, inside the layouts, open them back up again. And then what we'll do is we'll add in our header and our footer inside of our layouts. At the top, I'll add in the header. So that's going to be app and header and then also let's add in the footer and then i'll copy this this is very similar inside of our side as well the, the layout side so i add that in here and the difference here is we're adding in our sidebar and i'll temporarily add it right here for now so it'll be app sidebar okay and we could go ahead and close these down and let's check this out in the browser real quick and this is looking really good our header is showing up in our footer and then if we click on these pages our sidebar shows up so that's great now let's start adding some temporary styles so we could see borders between our different elements let's set that up next inside of our main style sheet i'll paste another snippet and you'll find this within the snippets page as well and all this does is add a bunch of borders so we can see the difference between you know, like our header our footer and different columns and rows things like that then also i have this content this adds a height and some background color to our content page so we can see the difference between the content section and the sidebar and that's it for our style sheet save this and we can shut this down we're not going to be back in here and then we'll set up the layout full component first thing so here i'm going to add this within a container so i'll create a div tag and then I'll give it the class content that will give it the background color and the height. And that's container outer. Cut out the router outlet and paste it in here. And that's it for this file. Copy this. It's very similar to what we need to do within the layout side. And I can save this, jump over to the layout side now, and I'll replace this right here. So this will get the content class and the container outer class as well. And then this I'll replace, just shuffle it around a little bit. I'll cut this out of here and put it in here. Now the sidebar is not the content, so you wanna remove this. And that's how you want your layout side component to look like, save this. Okay, this is looking promising. We got the background color, we got border. And then if we click on this, we should be able to see our sidebar and that has a border around it as well. Now we need to take care of the header outer border and also the footer outer border. We'll do that next. Inside of our share folder, we'll open up all the HTML files inside the components. So the footer HTML, the header HTML, and the sidebar. And we'll start inside of the header. I'll paste a snippet I already have made. So I use the header HTML tag and I gave it a class called container outer that's going to give it that yellow border then inside of this is going to be three divs three containers for holding our logo the search field and the links next is our footer and here I'm going to be using the footer tag and it's the same class container outer and then this is going to have two containers on the inside of it one for our copyright stuff and then the other one's going to be for a bunch of links Next is the sidebar. 
and this is just going to be in a div and then inside of the div is going to be a navigation this is where we're going to put a couple of the links for our example pages and one more thing we want to add if we reopen up the style sheet we'll remove the padding and the margin from the body let's check this out in the browser this is looking really good now we can visualize all the different containers that we're working with like our header has three different containers in it then we have our sidebar we have the main content area and then down at the footer we have two containers inside of that in this video we're going to set up the sidebar where it's off to the left and then the content will be off on the right the footer and the header will set that up in the next video so how do we get the sidebar to stack to the left and the content to stack to the right if you have trouble visualizing that using angular flex layout there's a really useful link to help you with that and that is right here and i'll have this link down in the description if you go down in the description click on click on the link and you end up on this page so what i'm trying to do is something like this i want it everything in a row for our sidebar and also our content section also i would like it if they stack up against the edges so i'll, I'll select this one and then I don't want anything centerized. I'll, I'd rather have it at the start level like that. That's perfect, exactly what I'm looking for. Let's copy this and add this in the HTML. We need to make changes within two files that are inside the layout side folder. Open up the HTML and also the module. Inside the module, we need to add in flex layout. Add that on towards the end. So flex layout module, there it is. And we're importing that from Angular Flex Layout. And that's all you need to do here. Then inside the HTML, we'll create a new container in here. And this container, I'm going to paste in that code I got, got off the browser. Add that here. So we're using the Flex Layout row. And then the Flex Layout align, we'll, we'll use space between and start. And then these two containers will paste within here. So cut it out of here and add it within here. And then there's one more thing we want to do is add a width to these two containers. So this one I want to set at 20. Now I'll use another attribute called FX flex. There it is. And this I'm going to set to 20. And then this one I'm going to set to 80. And 80. Let's jump back in the browser again and check it out. Now our sidebar is off to the left like it's supposed to be and our content is on the right. And then we go to the home page. We have the full width. Now, in the next video, let's get the header and footer containers working correctly. Like we want them to stack next to each other. And then also we'll work on inside of the, the uh, sidebar here. We'll have a navigation and we'll be using Angular Flex layout to help us lay out these child containers. And we'll do that in the next video.